Welcome to Imaging Sciences Treatment Studio Super Pano Tutorial. When Treatment Studio opens, you are presented with a panoramic image which was automatically created with optimal clarity and detail. If you do not see a panoramic image with TruePan stamped on the lower left of the image, make sure that TruePan is selected in the View Control window. To ensure that TruePan is activated for each qualifying scan open, select File on the menu bar, next select Preference, then select TruePan on by default. While you are in the Preferences window, you can enter your practice name in the Tag Text window if desired. Your name will now appear in the Panoramic window and will be shown when a panoramic is printed or emailed as an attachment. Select OK. Another reason that TruePan may not appear is because the scan did not meet the minimum requirements of a collimated height in excess of 8 centimeters or that it had a diameter of less than 16 centimeters. If this is the case, you will have to create a panoramic in the SuperPano section of the software if one is desired. SuperPano can also be used when the TruePan image has poor image quality in the region of the maxillary incisors. This is generally due to an open mouth at the time of the scan and metal artifacts caused by restorative work. Another reason to use TruePan is when the patient was improperly positioned for the scan. While the head may be repositioned in the software, TruePan must be disabled to do so. To reposition the volume, select the Section tab. Next, choose the Reorientation icon on the toolbar. Orientation rings now appear over each of the three planar views. As example, move the vertical green line over the axial right arch and on the sagittal view, left mouse click on the ring and while holding down the left mouse button, level the occlusal plane. After you have achieved the desired orientation, click on the reorientation icon to save the change. If you want to revert to the original orientation, select the Volume Renderer tab. Next, select the reorientation icon on the toolbar and select Reset to Image Coordinate System. To begin panoramic creation, select the Super Pano tab. This tab gives you the ability to construct and view an enhanced version of a panoramic radiograph take measurements, and utilize several image enhancement features. It also has the ability to render a pano into a volumetric 3D image that can be manipulated for greater visual advantages. Following are the steps to manually create a pano. First, adjust the axial view size and location in the bottom middle window for better viewing. Make sure that TruePan is deactivated in the View Control window. Select Quality in the 3D settings of the View Control window. Select Slice Mode in the View Control window. Adjust the green lines in the lower left window to include the desired anatomy. Move the red line that now appears in the lower left window to select which slice will be used to draw the spline. Generally, you would place the line between the occlusal surfaces of the arches. Click the Create Focal Trough icon on the toolbar. Select Yes in the newly opened window. Place points by left mouse clicking as you move through the middle of the arch and right mouse click after the last point is placed. If necessary, move the points by left mouse clicking on them and while holding the left mouse button down, move them buccal or lingual until the preview in the lower right window is satisfactory. If the roots of the maxillary incisors appear unnaturally curved posteriorly, you may want to flatten the curvature of the anterior position of the focal trough. You may extend the focal trough by left mouse clicking on the first or last middle line points and while holding the button down, move the mouse. The focal trough can be widened by left mouse clicking on any of the four outside points and while holding the button down, moving the mouse left or right. 
You may move the entire focal trough if desired by left mouse clicking on the middle line and while holding down the left button move the mouse. Once satisfied with the positioning in the preview, adjust the grayscale threshold slider in the view control window to filter soft tissue so that the preview image is not too dark or too light. Click the Create Pano button in the view control window. The pano will now appear in the panoramic rendering window. The image can be adjusted by using the brightness and contrast sliders. A sharpen filter can be applied as well. The Super Pano tab is not limited to a grayscale image. By clicking on the different options in the view control window, you can create a pano based on a 3D volume. Then by selecting Enable 3D, the pano will become a fully rendered volume allowing you to freely drag, tilt, zoom, and rotate the image. You may also clip the panoramic. This concludes Imaging Sciences Treatment Studio Super Pano tutorial. For additional information, recommendations, or assistance, please contact the Imaging Sciences Technical Support Department at 800-205-3570 or by emailing us at isicustechsupport at imagingsciences.com.